Can you hear me? No, you talk to me. How many have we seen here? N none. No. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. officially back on terra firma <laughs> you said that on cruise too i know it means you're back on hard ground anyway we're back <laughs> just about to go pick up the caravan the diesel heater was faulty we've got a um, warranty issue on that so that's getting replaced at the moment which well, actually it's getting brought in it's not fixed no but we've uh we're getting them to install a flow meter into our tanks because what we've found is those management systems um, oh, are not shit. accurate enough. <laughs> well, I'll tell you it's got 50%, it's probably got 10% of water in it. So we're getting all that changed, that's already done. Um, we asked if we grab the van earlier because we're about to take you guys to a top little spot down our way. Yep. So strap yourself in. It's uh, 32 degrees in Melbourne, holy crap. It's hotter than what it was on the cruise. Exactly. So it might be a little bit cooler where we're going and by the time we get there, but we're going down the coast, just past the farm, to a spot that we haven't been before, so very excited. Hope to have some good weather over the weekend, but if not, we'll make the most of it today. Yeah, today's the best day, I yeah. think. And King Billy and Molly are coming, and Co Coco Cooey's in the back. So yeah, pretty excited. Well, I miss the van. Yeah. I really miss the van, and we haven't had it for the last week since Turn we've been right home, so I can see that. <laughs> I was just making sure. Um, yeah, we haven't had the van for a week or so, so. We miss it when we don't have it. All right, we'll see you in Yanaki. Yanaki. Didn't shave today, doll. I'll be busy. Problem number one, I think we've learnt from previous times that when you take your caravan in to get serviced or get something done to it, don't go camping on the same day because things don't go to plan. So I've gone in, opened the caravan, battery doesn't work. So I can't put the blackjack up because that's plugged to the battery system and the battery system doesn't work so yeah I'll probably have to come and jack it up with their forklift or something so we can get it on the car I don't know where Troy is he must have gone upstairs but uh, this is frustrating this is the one thing that I hate you're excited to go caravanning and and camping yeah we'll see what happens that's right darling get those mirrors on only 45 degrees out here. We can't have followers telling us we're we're towing without mirrors. An hour and 44 minutes to Fish Creek. Good. closer to this side so you want to go over there as much as you can this is where the fun happens Coco don't start can you hear me can you hear me I can't hear shit can you hear me 
Can you hear me? No, you talk to me. Sure. That's good. Come back towards me more. You just watch the car. Yeah, good. Keep going. Hard, hard down. Stop there. And you got half a metre. Oh God, stop, 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 stop. Oh God. Yep, keep coming back. Another metre. Stop, done. You actually did a bloody good job. Just nearly took out our aerial. Well, that was a good job, Dal. Talk about being in a hurry. Nearly took out the um, internet antenna. Oh, I'm just doing a dollar twenty. You were doing a dollar twenty. Can your dad get through? Come, Bill. Come this way. Come this way. Not a bad spot, is it, Phil? We're finally set up here. Time to feed the doggies. Might feed them separately. Chewy? Wait. Wait. Ah! Hey, hey, you left oh. your manners? Oh, she listens to mum. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how the other one goes. Oh, look at her, like a princess. Sit down. Wait. Ah! Molly? Ah! Sit. Sit. You're on camera, girl. Sit down. Good girl. Does that move? How's that? Australia's best beef jerky. It says biscuits, darling. Yeah, I know. I didn't have another, <laughs> I didn't have another container. Want some more, King? Uh, no, I'm pretty right. Thank you very much. What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's wrong, Bill? Don't you like it? You made it too bloody hot. <laughs> it's got a bit of spice. <laughs> really yummy. Really Alright darling, mummy's hungry. Up. What have we got? We're cooking ribs. Ribs tonight. on the high seas and now we're just <laughs> living the dream. Yeah, you did a good job towing and reversing into this site. How good was the reverse? Bang. But then schoolboy error, I didn't work out where the taps were. Hose doesn't reach. No, that was my fault. I didn't, I didn't, I was the navigator. Did you hear that? Yeah, so it was my fault, but you nearly took out the antenna. It just went. Yeah, that's the idea. That's what the antenna's supposed to do. Oh, the toolkit. This one. Right, now what? Undo the screws. Here. You've got screws there, near the hinge. Yeah. Yeah, undo those. Mm. She can come in here with Coco. Oh, you finally let me out. That's <laughs> what happens when you slam the door in disgust. Yeah, that's how you break into our caravan. How'd you go? I'll put it back on. Yep. This is all because Coco bolted through the door one day. Yes, you. 
a little wet, wet hound. She bolted through it, and if you slam it too hard, it goes all the way through. Anyway. You can give her the tools, but uh, look at this. Look at that one. And then look at that one. <laughs> Good to see you doing it the old school way and not using a, a drill. A drill? No, that's lazy. It's either lazy or smart. <laughs> one or the other, but have a look at these ribs there coming along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smells good. Oh, oh, oh my god, they look amazing. That, oh jeez, that's warm. There you go, King. It's all yours. This is not our best look. <laughs> All the best start to the day. <laughs> we really need to give this camping thing a lot more practice. Well, if Coco woke up at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's easy. Just don't bring Coco. Anything about that, Coco? No move, dogs. Move us up at the crack of door. No dogs on the floor. Cord to nine, so we did get we did go back to sleep for a bit, which is good. But we're going to go to the general store and buy a few things that we've forgotten, like another hose because we've got no water in the tank. So we need to get another hose to connect to. That's where the power is, and there's a water tap behind it. So we've already got a hose connector, but we're just we're short about. Two meters. Anyway, so we'll go get that. We need to get some spray and wipe. Um, we might try and find something for the barbecue so we can cook those ribs better, like a tray or something. The tides come in. That looks nice now. All right, the weather's just cleared up and I'm about to go and try to catch myself a couple of flathead just out here or to throw some um, soft plastics out there. But I just wanted to show you guys a quick video on re-spooling your line. And I've literally just got a brand new reel, this Okama reel. It's a nice little spin reel, just here. So I figured I'd give it a go. And if you're by yourself and you need to re-spool the line, we all know how hard that can be. So just get yourself a bucket of water and throw that in there and that should give us enough tension to be able to spool your line Simple as that, so it stops it from getting all tangled up. And there you go, I've got the brand new line on. That's just a six pound, uh, probably put maybe 150, 200 meters on there. It's just a nice uh, six kilo line, sorry. So I'll just store that in the box for next time. Probably, there's probably another 150 meters on there, which is good. All right, we'll uh, rig this up, put a soft plastic on and try our luck out here. We're right on full high tide at the moment, which is perfect. My oh, mate's trying his luck down here. So I'll just, some little weed, weed bottom there. We'll go and give that a go. What's he gonna roll with? Actually don't mind that.
Oi. Tell you what, you know you're a serious fisherman when you go right up to the Jack Jats crackers. Oh my god. Especially in these conditions. Jesus. And there's no fish out there, I'm telling you. Do you like um, Molly's new lead? Uh, she's gonna rip the awning down. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Well, it's a trial. Mm. Ah well. You just you tangled there, Moo. You let your leg out. All right, we're out walking. Got to do something. Can't just sit in the caravan all day. And these dogs need a run. Come on, girls. Perfect spot to run. Too. So the idea is we're going to walk all around, all the way around this beach to the point there. See how we go. Excited, dog? Yeah. Happy as Larry. <laughs> Is it a biggie? That is a, that's a nice size flathead, that one. Stick it out. That means potential. No, that there means, is fish that, here. That means there's a boat ramp right there. People have been coming back here and cleaning their fish. <laughs> Have you ever seen anyone take their own bath mat to the amenities? This is a hot tip. See this bath mat? You know when you get out of a public shower and you just step onto a wet floor? No more. No, no, no. You take your own bath mat. That's why you got thongs. No, While you're getting dry, don't dry the footsies, you need to step on something soft and clean. Alright, so you look after the doggies. <coughs> You've got that much stuff there, you probably should have just towed the caravan over. Huh? It's been nice to have a bag. Anyway. Alright, I'll stay here and look after the fort. So these are the toilets, very clean. Plenty of toilets, plenty of basins, and then plenty of showers. So, I might pick this one. Who's gonna win? Me or Coco? Yeah, in, yeah, that's right, in your bowl. Watch me be. Ah, oh, I got it! <laughs> it one. Mummy, one. All right, we're just about to go out for dinner. We're having Dead, pizza Coco. tonight down at Yanaki. Yanaki Pizza Restaurant. Yeah. And um, Laura's parents have come down to visit, visit and have dinner with us. Can't wait, looking forward to it. 
haven't had pizza for a while apart from the, the cruise that was way too much pizza as you can probably tell uh, the tides right out at the moment the folks are out there having a bit of a chin wag with old King Billy and it is perfect timing right now to fish in that little channel which I can't do because we're going out for dinner so that's my excuse yeah. not for catching fish Caroline, by the time we get back you can go out but I might do some floundering later so I've got the torch I'll go and do some floundering out there walk through the water because the wind has dropped right off which is great first and foremost let's go and eat yeah okay so we've just been out for dinner we've we're full on pizza so we actually don't need dessert but we've been on dessert. a cruise and we always make time for dessert or extra entrees well you do <laughs> oh, i don't you make room for an extra entrees <laughs> anyway i picked this up at the Yaniki General Store today, a greens self-sourcing chocolate pudding. Mm. So there's two ways I can cook this. One is on the barbecue and treat it like an oven, but that's gonna take ages and use a lot of gas. So luckily, it's got microwave instructions on this. Ooh. Yeah, and we've got power. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna end up with radiation Oh my god. Radi anyway, radiation. It's for five minutes in versus the gas, right? The old radiation um, cupcakes. Right. Anyway, are you going to help me or are you going to talk crap? Oh, the cricket's on, so I'm going to watch the cricket. Okay. So I'll leave you guys to it. Yeah, thanks, darling. So I've just boiled some water on the stove because we don't have a kettle here. First thing I have to do is create the pudding mix. So I've got to mix all the the pudding ingredients, so the egg, the margarine or butter uh, into a mixing bowl and the saucepan is for the self-sourcing. I thought it fo you had to fold it. No, you carefully pour it. God. Oh, I was. I thought well, I was helping. I was folding. You just had to hold the camera. That's all oh. you had to do. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes. You live and you learn. You won't make that mistake again. Trust me. <laughs>
got here. Good. Yeah, it's, it's light. Mm. Tastes nice. All right, out here floundering with <laughs> <laughs> with King Billy, like like the good old days. But um, it's actually perfect weather at the moment. It's so still. Like you couldn't ask for better conditions. So there's no excuse with King. <laughs> we need to get. We need to find ourselves a flounder, all right? Or three or four. <laughs> yeah. But how chilly is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Freeze the balls off a beer table. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, let's go. We're going in. <laughs> King, it's fresh. <laughs> it's fresh, King. You happy? Yeah, I'm good. I'm cool. We'll catch it. All right. If they're here, we'll get them. All right. Yeah. Bang. Little, little, um, what is that? Flooded. Little flooded. Yeah. Jeez, it's getting deep quick. Yeah. All right, let's go right. I don't want to get wet. No. Too wet. Little toadfish. Yeah. Brown fish. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of them, plenty of garfish. Yeah, good for bait. Yeah. That's something big. What's that? That was a big, big fish. Big yeah, garfish, yeah. Yeah, you hold that. That's right, if there's going to be flounder, they'll be in these waters. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's pristine. Yeah, garfish. Got him. Nice bit of bait. Alright, King, how was that? How was that yeah. for a mission? Well, it was a start. But what what was it like in your day, like going floundering? Oh yeah, it was good. Yeah, you go yeah. Port Albert and that we we went out, we got a few at Port Albert and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but how many have we seen here? None. No. Yeah. That's got to be a flounder. Yep. Isn't it? Yep. Beautiful. He's a good one too. He's a pearl. Oh. Don't, don't let him out, King. The miso is going to be happy. <laughs> I tell you what, he's a good size. He's a real top size. What a catch. Well done. There you go. We've finally got a bloody flounder. You <laughs> little beauty. And these things taste immaculate. Yeah, Look, that's a beautiful. beautiful size. So we've still got another 30 or 40 metres get, to get back to camp. Yeah, yeah. Now He just laid there and he's, he was easy to get. That's perked me up. Oh, shit, yeah. Alright, what have we got? Three? Yeah. Three. Well, there you go. That's that's enough for a feed. Yep. Do you think? No. Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, taste. Yeah. yeah happy with that. At least better than nothing. Um, no wind. Perfect. We could keep walking right around. But it's getting late. Yeah, it's getting late, and we're better off getting back and cleaning these things up, and yeah, having another jar. 
What are you up to, darling? We are the great white hunters. Show the miso. You go, you go as comfortable there. That's an eel. No, it was we not an eel. Flounder, darling. Oh we got dinner. Oh my, oh my god, you I better FaceTime Mum. Oh, oh no, no, here we go. I better because she won't believe it. We got three flounder. And we missed three or four. You got three? Yeah. Yeah. So we've just come in from floundering. It was good fun, wasn't it? It, yep. Oh yeah. It, it brought me back to the days that the old man used to take me floundering years ago, and uh, we got we got three. We got uh, one at around thirty centimeters. There. So decent size. We used to get them a lot bigger, from memory, and we got uh, two at around twenty three centimeters, and that's legal size. So. Here we are. It's, they're going to be a good feed. They don't have many bones in them, so if you're not sure, if you're not familiar with um, flounder, they're very delicate bones, so you don't have to really worry too much. Easy to to fill it. It's only got just remove the guts. Very very simple, but they're an amazing looking creature. Have a look at the the two eyes, like two here, and then the mouth. Unreal. I'll put this one to sleep, and um, tomorrow we're having flounder for dinner. Yay! There you go. What do you reckon, Kim? Good job. Very slippery. It turns out we have nowhere to sleep tonight. <laughs> Can you believe that? Have a have a go at these dogs. Seriously. All right, you're in the bunk bed, darling. Is this why you say no dogs on tour? <laughs> no dogs on tour. That's the number one rule. Do not bring your dog on tour. I went to fish to bring food back for the family <laughs> and come back and look at that. <laughs> Have a go at you. That's a wrap. <laughs> That's it from Corner Inlet, top little uh, destination. But it's great to be back out caravanning again. Yeah. On, uh, on this solid ground. Yeah. Rather than out there. Yeah. But um, <laughs> once again, uh, thanks for tuning in. We've uh, we had an awesome uh, time here, didn't we? We did. What is uh, it cost? If, if you want to stay here, so this is called uh, Wilson's Promontory Holiday Park. It's actually run by Big Four now. Right on Corner Inlet. Yeah, it's, it's in Yanaki, so just before you go through the gates at Wilson's Prom. You're allowed dogs, you're allowed fires certain times of the year. Uh, there's no dump point here, so we can't actually clean out the toilet but there's okay. powered sites with water and then if you go down to the bush sites it's just power there's no water down mm. there it's actually probably a little bit better down the bush sites yeah. not as it's a bit jam-packed here i don't know if you can hear the kids yelling at the back there we're just behind um the basketball court as well so yeah you don't get to sleep in for us it was 153 dollars for two nights for two adults mm. uh that's on a sea view site so what they call a, like a premium sea view site and we're on site 109 which has direct access to the beach so not all the sea view sites have their own direct access mm. we actually have got a pretty good site i'd stay here again for mm. sure yeah, yeah it's nice unfortunately old mate fished out me flatty hole yeah. um, which was just out here so no flathead but floundering as you would have seen last night we've got three nice little flounders there yeah and uh, we're going to cook those up today so might even put some footage in of that yeah. Show you guys how to cook that, and if you've never had flounder before, it's actually Mickey yeah. Mouse. What we might do, maybe we'll drive down there with the van. No. Why? It's a bit tall. See how the van goes. Because if we come again, I want to stay down there. All yeah. right. Okay, so that's how we'll show yeah. you. Good job, darling. <laughs> Good camping. Thanks thing. again for tuning in. Yeah. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We're just about to hit our big lap around Australia and we'd love to take you guys on on the journey yep and g'day to Alan thank you for dropping by and saying hello it's always <laughs> good to have a little have a chat so 
Thumbs up to you, Alan. Good luck yep. on your travels, and we'll see you oh, on the next episode. One more thing: the Yaniki Pizza Restaurant is really good. Oh, that really was good place to go have a feed on weird. a Friday or Saturday <clears throat> night. We didn't film that last night no. because we had Laura's parents over, and we just wanted to spend a bit of family time. But and that, it was really busy. The pizza was amazing. Yeah, yeah. it was so busy. Yeah, mum and dad got some leftovers. Mm. <laughs> so, till next time, we'll yep. see you then. All right, bye. see you guys. Bye.